Find sizzling savings at Brookings Auto Mall. We've got over 50 2019 and 2020 Chevrolet and GMC pickups to choose from. Check out great deals right now at BrookingsAutoMall.com. Brookings Auto Mall, what's in your driveway? A frightening reminder to be aware of your surroundings during the holidays. This morning, we'll show you a purse snatching in Minnesota where the victim is dragged by a car nearly the length of a football field. Plus, how Christmas at the Cathedral provides a front row seat to those less fortunate. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your Sunday morning. We also have an exciting list of boredom busters coming up for you, but first, our top story. Police in Huron are looking for a 20-year-old man suspected of opening fire on a police officer during an attempted traffic stop. According to Huron Police, it happened Friday night after the officer activated his emergency lights in an attempt to stop the vehicle. Police say one of the passengers fired numerous shots from a handgun. The driver then crashed into a snowbank and the people inside of the vehicle ran off. Officers took a juvenile passenger into custody, but the sus suspected shooter is still at large. Video captured by a security camera shows just how brazen perch snatchers have become in Minnesota during the holidays. The video shows a woman putting her purchases in the back of her car when a vehicle pulls up and a man gets out and grabs the woman's purse before getting back into the car. But then the woman's arm gets caught in the purse straps and she's dragged 75 yards before the suspect slowed down and she was able to untangle herself and get away. Police in St. Paul say there have been 20 similar purse snatchings around the city over the past month. The annual performances of Christmas at the Cathedral are taking place in Sioux Falls this weekend. Last week, St. Joseph Cathedral hosted a special free performance of the concert with invited guests coming from the Bishop Dudley Hospitality House, the St. Francis House, the Banquet, and Our Lady of Guadalupe. Our theme this year is Light of the World. Okay. And we can't think of a more fitting theme for the guests that we're serving tonight. And the concert involved just more than music. There was pasta served beforehand and cookies after the performance. You can watch a broadcast of Christmas at the Cathedral right here on Kelloland TV Christmas night at 6.30. Well, temperatures will keep climbing on this first full day of winter. His chief meteorologist, Jay Trobeck. Good morning, Jay. Uh, good morning, Perry. And yes, they will. In fact, temperatures are going to be close to 20 degrees above average in the case of Falls. Here's what we're looking at. Uh, with partly mostly sunny skies this afternoon, we'll see temperatures rising into the mid-30s up in the northeastern part of South Dakota, melting some more snow. The mid-40s, Sioux Falls in the southeast and mid-50s out to the west. There will be a cold front coming down from the north tonight. So tomorrow and Tuesday, Christmas Eve will both be mostly cloudy and not as warm, though still above average, mid-30s, low 40s, who falls in the southeast, upper 50s, uh, I should say upper 20s in northeastern South Dakota. Temperatures will be a little bit warmer in Rapid City. They're not really going to get the coldest of the cool air. On Christmas, that's our first mention of snow anywhere in the forecast. Light snow Christmas afternoon into Thursday morning, under an inch most places. Maybe a couple inches in northeastern South Dakota as the system pulls away. The good news is temperatures remain near or above average right through New Year's Day. Perry? All right, thank you very much, Jay. Well, the city of Sioux Falls outdoor skate rinks are open for the winter. The rinks are located at Campus, Frank Olson, Memorial, McKinnon, Sherman, and Tuthill Parks. Today's hours are from 1 to 8. It's the opening weekend of the season at Great Bear Ski Valley in Sioux Falls. Skiers, snowboarders, and tubers can hit the slopes from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. The Sioux Empire Community Theater presents Tuesdays with Maury. The performance is at 2 o'clock at the Orpheum Theater in downtown Sioux Falls. Tickets are $30. Calling all pickleball players in Sioux Falls, there will be drop-in play at Terry Redland Elementary from 1 to 5. Pickleball is an easy sport for beginners and experienced players that combines the racket skills of badminton and tennis. Enjoy the holiday lights on display during, fall, during the, uh, Falls Park during Winter Wonderland. You can check out the festive lighting daily from 5 to midnight through January 5th. Admission is free. The Ark of Dreams adds a steely shimmer to the ho holidays in downtown Sioux Falls. It spans the Big Sioux River next to Sharapa Place and is the permanent centerpiece of the sculpture walk displays on sidewalks throughout downtown. Films playing at the Wells Fargo Cynodome in the Washington Pavilion include Back from the Brink, Volcanoes, and The Polar Express. New movies playing at a theater near you include Cats, rated PG, Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker, rated PG-13, and Bombshell, rated R. Jay? 
Perry, we are going to be seeing light snow this on uh, Christmas afternoon into Thursday morning. Under an inch, most places it could total two inches in northeastern South Dakota. That's the only mention of snowfall in your outwear in our forecast. Today, with partly to mostly sunny skies, 45 for a high this afternoon. Sioux Falls, 34 Aberdeen, 45 in Pier, 54 in Rapid City. Well, thank you for joining us for Kelloland on the Go. You can get up-to-the-minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. So am I.